Tucci. I'm back and I'm walking around somewhere in the middle of Australia. Now, keep watching because I bet you've never seen anyone do this before. Using New South Wales, a state of Australia, as an example, it is estimated that over 7,000 animals are killed per day as a result of vehicle collisions, meaning that annually over 2.5 million animals are killed just alone in one of Australia's smaller states. But seriously, Chuchi, any Aussie will tell you that the carnage is happening in the middle of the remoteness of Australia. Well, right, Chuchi, I'm out here Australian outback on a really remote road. Now, it's absolutely amazing to see the amount of carnage which is happening out here on these dirt roads in the middle of Australia. And what I mean by carnage is the amount of wildlife which have been hit by cars, the amount of roadkill that there is. I've just come along this stretch and it's about maybe 25, 30 kilometers long. And I'll tell you what, I've been counting hundreds of native wildlife just dead on the side of the road. And you're probably thinking, well, what's the extent? Well, I'm about to show you. And this is exactly what I mean. See, Chuchi, out here, everything's getting hit. This here is the eastern grey kangaroo, and he's probably just been hit this morning. Now, out here, there's two things that can happen. Either A, the wildlife gets hit and dies, or B, the person driving the car veers off, hits a tree, goes into a gully, or they're killed. You know, at the end of the day, with wildlife and vehicles, there's, there's no easy match, you know, they don't exactly mix. But you can just see the absolute extent or well, what's happening out here in Australia. And it's unfortunate, you know, it's unfortunate to see this. See, this guy here's probably been sitting here the last couple of days. That sun's got to him. Yeah, it doesn't smell too good either. And you can just see what happens. You know, the crows, uh, foxes, feral pigs, everything will get stuck into these animals. So it's not exactly like these animals are going to waste, you know. They're going back out into the environment. It's the whole ecology of things, I guess. Yeah. Look at you, mate. You have been absolutely hammered. But there's a technique I'm going to be showing you today on how to catch a specific animal. Now, the funny thing about this animal is he's a native species, but he's what I think is the hardest species to catch out here, particularly on the open plains. I knew I was going to find one sooner or later. I've been walking this bloody road for about 45 minutes. Now this guy here, he's known as the Australian Emu. He's a native bird and he's the largest bird here in Australia. Now the funny thing about this guy is, well apart from him being dead, unfortunately, um, these guys here are one of the quickest animals on the planet. As soon as you see him, bang, he'll just take off. Their eyesight's absolutely amazing. But I'm going to be using him today for a bit of a technique. Now, the funny thing about the emu that most people don't know also is this, is the emu and the kangaroo being native Australian animals, they're on the Australian national emblem. The reason is, both of these animals can only move forwards, they can't move back, therefore symbolising that Australia, as a nation, is always proceeding forwards. Not bad, mate. Well, you're not moving anywhere, but, but yeah. Anyway, the technique that I'm going to be showing you today is exactly what the Native Americans used to use to catch bison. And what I'm going to be doing is incorporating myself into this animal. Now I'm going to gut this animal out, I'm going to take out everything inside of his body, and then I'm going to wear him a little bit like a coat. And I'm going to be using it to get closer to other emus. And hopefully I can catch you, a live emu, no worries at all. As I've just been following these emus along the fence line, and I can get close to them, they're a little bit suspicious. But what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and I'll run. Thinking, 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 thinking. I'm going to leave this costume down along the fence line. What I'll do is I'll run down along the other side, along the other side of that fence. I'll try and flush through those one or two emus that were down there. I'll quickly come back around. I'll put this on, and then I'll I'll see if I can get one on the fence line because um, they're letting me get close. But not close enough, but um, I reckon we'll have some luck. Huh? Nah, nah, nah. I'll do it that way, I'll do it the other way, the other way's better. Yeah. Alright, let's go. 
Yeah, well, don't laugh because these are the only chicks that I pick up. But yeah, anyway, what happens next is just another example of being determined, being in the right place at the right time, and understanding an animal's behavioural movements in what I like to call a 2D environment. Kangaroos here in Australia. Oh. One of kangaroos, one of Australia's native animals, and one of Australia's fastest native animals as well. They're a beautiful animal, and I'll tell you what, they're fast, they're inquisitive. <coughs> oh, don't kick me. Oh. Alright, relax, relax. Settle down, settle down. Settle with me, settle with me. Settle with me. Don't kick me. Don't kick me. Now, Skippy, I'm about to release you, right? So you just relax. Now, you saw the technique that I was using incorporating myself a bit like an emu. I was unlucky, I was very unlucky not to get an emu. But out here, it's all about surprise. You never know what you're gonna get. And in this case scenario, I've got a kangaroo who really wants to hit me bad. You're okay, mate, I love you. Now, with all the captures, what's most important is that you release the animal. It's vitally important. Okay, mate, we'll go. We'll go over here and I'll release him. Now yeah, the best thing, the best thing about catching any animal is also being able to release it back out into the wild. And in fact, that's what makes me happier, is the release. All right, mate, go. Woo! The Eastern Grey Kangaroo! Go, Skippy! It's absolutely beautiful out here, and that's it, you know. When you catch a wild animal, the best thing about it, Chuchi, is being able to release it back out there into the wild, let him do his thing. Look at him, look how happy he is. Keep running! Amazing, amazing. All right, mate, well, thanks for your help. Tell you what, it went bad out there. Yeah. Well, no, look, I told you before, over there on that fence line was much better. If we would have went to where you said, we would have got nothing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which way the sun was going. I could see where the sun was going. There was enough shade there for me to hide. Hey, hey, hey. Relax, all right? It's enough over you. Keep it settled. Go on this way. <laughs> 